up YouTube, it's your boy Anime Specialist, so it was a pretty good episode, I thought it was gonna be way better than it, than it was, but it was still a pretty good episode, you know, just the beginning of the episode was so satisfying because uh, we saw uh, Sully just in this shape right there because he just got beat by Noel, just seeing him and hearing him saying impossible, uh, it was just satisfying, man, just seeing... Uh, the progression that Noel has in the series, just seeing her beat her one of her older brother. I don't think she's gonna beat uh, Nozel uh, soon because he's a uh, captain level. But uh, just seeing her beat one of her older brother and next is gonna be her sister probably. So uh, just uh, her earning her respect. I just want to see her earning uh, her respect from. Uh, uh, her brother Nozelle, so hopefully we'll see more of Noelle, and like I said in other reviews, she's become one of my favorite characters in the show, just seeing what she was uh, in the first episode that we saw her uh, in Black Clover, and now how she is, just the character development is incredible, at first she couldn't control her magic, but then because she's with the Black Bulls, um, a band of misfits, you know, that uh, doesn't belong with other people. Uh, they, they just help her uh, control her magic, you know, Vanessa helped her buy a wand and that helped her control her magic. And then uh, before this arc, she trained um, with uh, Lady Leona. Obviously, we saw it when uh, they were going uh, on top of the volcano. Uh, because uh, she trained there uh, with her mana skin, she can control her magic more. So I just want to see uh, what's coming next for Noelle. I, I just want her to become stronger and just seeing what's going to be new, what new spell she's going to add to her repertoire and everything. And then just seeing you know saying to his teammate from the Golden Dawn, uh, Alec Dora, that he's weak. Just seeing the ruthlessness in uh, Yuno's eyes was something that we I don't think we've seen before, you know. So that was quite interesting. Just seeing his ruthlessness, uh, it was it was cool to see, man. I want to see more. You know, we haven't seen a lot of him in the series so far. So hopefully we'll see more. But anyway, man, it was last week's episode was pretty good. So let's talk about this week's episode, man. So it was Asta's team versus Magna's team. We haven't seen a lot in this episode of both teams. We only saw uh, a little bit of Asta and a little bit of uh, Kurt, uh, Mimosa's older brother. But anyway, man, uh, I just think that uh, Kurt was beaten pretty easily for how strong he is. I thought it was going to take way more than that. But anyway, man, uh, just seeing Asta using his demon form in this episode uh, for the first time uh, controlling it and everything was really cool but the thing is he said in this episode i don't know if he was just joking or anything but he said that when he uses his demon form he can't use it again for a while so that's pretty interesting i don't know if he was just joking but that's what he said the reason why he used his demon form was to erased all of the illusion magic that Kirch uh, was doing. I don't think he needed to. Maybe it was just uh, the, uh, the show's way of uh, showing out uh, Asta's demon form in control and everything. But uh, it was pretty cool to see. Man. We, are, we didn't see a lot. We just see, saw him do his tornado attack or something like that and erase uh, the magic of Kirch. But just seeing him in control uh, uh, and showing a little bit of his power in his demon form was uh, pretty interesting. Anyway, there's a character that I'm really interested in for a reason that I don't really know. I'm really interested in Mimosa's character. Like I said in previous uh, reviews, she's become one of my favorite characters. As I know I said that about Noel, but she's also one of my favorite characters. For a reason, I, I know that I like her personality, I like her magic and everything, but I'm really attracted to Mimosa's character in particular, so hopefully we'll see more of her. We didn't see a lot of her in this episode, we just, uh, ha she had a dialogue in this episode about her not underestimating her brother and everything, so uh, hopefully we'll see more of her in the series and everything. 
my favorite part of the episode was the flashback about uh, Zerk. We finally know his real name at least. I think it's his real name, but uh, in this flashback we saw uh, this guy. I think it's uh, Zora's father. So Zora is uh, aka Zerk. I think it's his father and he was talking to a kid that I think is Zora. So they didn't really uh, say that it was him, but uh, it's safe to say that it was. We still don't know what's his obsession about Magic Knights, but maybe it's because his dad died in a mission or something like that. Maybe it's that, but uh, it's going to be pretty interesting to discover who Zoha really is, why he's so interested in Magic Knight, why he wants to be the best of the best and everything. So that was the first flashback that we've got from uh, Zoha and hopefully uh, we'll know soon but like I said the first time he was introduced he was pretty interesting you know anyway Zoha said that before the tournament started the day before he scouted the battlefield and put some of his tra trap magic on it so he actually did that before the tournament started so like Asta said in the tournament it's kind of cheating but it was all fun man it was really funny like I said earlier in the video, I really thought that the way that Kirch was defeated was kind of weak. Even though it was really smart because Kirch is uh, sensing magic, so he wasn't really using uh, his eyes or, or anything. So he was sensing where the traps were, but he didn't think that uh, Asta, uh, Mimosa, and Zoha was going to make a trap without their magic. They were going. They were going to make a normal trap you know so that was kind of smart so that's how they defeated him he went into the trap and then uh, Asta knocked him out and everything but I really thought it was kind of easy to beat him because uh, in his pre in, in his previous fight when uh, he was just uh, giving advice to uh, Magna and um, the girl I don't remember her name but uh, they just showed how strong he is and I thought that they didn't really use his strength in this episode but anyway. Now there's only Magna and the other girl left so we'll have to see what Magna has in his sleeves. We'll see how strong he's become and everything so maybe he'll show us a new spell or something you know so uh, obviously I think that Asta's team is gonna win pretty easily because Asta is the main character and I like I really like Mimosa so I want them to win but yeah man let me know what you thought about this week's episode in the comments down below and let me know who you think is gonna win the tournament man it's gonna be uh, awesome I can't wait for the arc after that when they're gonna go fight uh, the Iron the Midnight Sun I can't wait for that the opening made me even more hype about it so yeah I do Black Clover reviews every Tuesday, so subscribe for that. And I do other anime related things like uh, Kimetsu no Yaiba Demon Slayer on Saturdays. Uh, the F first episode aired uh, last Saturday. It was really, really good. So I'm going to review it weekly. I do uh, fairy tale reviews. I haven't done the last two episodes because I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of bored of fairy tale. And then I'm gonna do, I'm also doing, sorry, uh, One Piece reviews on Saturday. Uh, the Reverie arc has started, so I'm gonna do it weekly. So stay tuned for that. One Piece is gonna get really good, man. It's not in the whole, whole Cake Island arc anymore, so I'm gonna start reviewing uh, the, the anime again. If there's some things that I forgot to talk about in this week's review, let me know in the comments down below. It would be really appreciated. But yeah, man, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Anime Specialist out. Peace.